The president is returning to Rochester for the first time since 2018, hoping to sway some last second voters just days before the election. So why so late in the game? Our Zach Fuller spoke with political strategists for both parties about the decision to come here to Rochester. President Trump is making another stop in Minnesota on Friday, putting an emphasis on the Midwest, this time coming to Rochester to try and flip the state red for the first time in decades. We also realized we could pick off a few more states where Democrats used to have a stranglehold. That's Nevada, Minnesota, possibly New Hampshire as well. And so we want to make sure we get back to those areas heading closer and closer to election day. Although the Biden campaign says they're not taking anything for granted, they like the support they've seen in Minnesota and even in Iowa. We're seeing continuing strength for Vice President Biden in Minnesota and growing strength for Vice President Biden in Iowa. And, and the reason for that is the things we've just been discussing. I mean, and, and you take in, in Iowa and certainly in Minnesota as well, but just the simple thing about farmers. Farmers in the region will be a big topic. However, another reason for this week's visit could be the city's ties to health care with the Mayo Clinic. So what is President Trump doing by visiting Rochester? Why would he pick that? To again, get well-rounded, to hear the concerns, to, to uh, meet people with a large We're diversity of background and concerns. Amendment. While President Trump is trying to swing votes his way, his stop will also help other Republican races in the state. For Hagedorn in district number one, uh, certainly to help Lewis, and in the Senate race against Smith. And with Rochester being so close to Iowa, which is currently a swing state, a visit so close to the border is probably intentional. Iowa is much, much tighter than Minnesota. Uh, and so that's that one is razor thin. And that's, of course, I don't expect um, probably by the time we go to bed on election night to know what Iowa has done. Zach Fuller, Fox 47 News.